morning, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Shalini, uh, Mrs. Sunitra. I notice uh, a large number of family members here. And I say family, it's information service family, actually. A large number of you. I think it's always special to do things uh, in front of the family and have the backing of uh, such members. So thank you all for coming. And just yesterday, in fact, I was uh, going through some of the analysis of uh, what's happening in UP, and they mentioned that uh, only 6% of social media users, especially Twitter, are women. And now we have two women who are leading in writing, putting this book together and compilation of everything that's associated with social media. So special congratulations to you to take the lead. She's from UP. She's from UP. <laughs> to take the lead and be the torchbearers. Wonderful. Now, times have changed so fast in social media. I mean, just a couple of years, I remember that uh, somebody told me you need to open an account. And I had no clue about what Twitter is or what Facebook is. So somebody else opened my account. And for a number of days, I had to actually go back to that person so to ask, what's my email ID, what's my ID to open it? And so that was the beginning. And now, in the last decade, the social media has taken over so much that actually um, it's, it's quite true to say that the next biggest screen is going to be our mobile phones. Where everybody is glued onto it, be it information, entertainment, or just uh, interaction with each other, with WhatsApp, with uh, Instagram, and uh, uh, the, the, the Facebooks and the uh, Twitter, including the way that we've been consuming uh, information. I think uh, the very fact that you can put your photos, you can put your documents, and you can connect with each other in a far, far superior and an immediate manner. I think that's what makes it so relevant. I think all of you here are probably using social media. And uh, it's very interesting to hear the remark here that when you try and explain that to an elderly person, there's a little bit of disconnect. A lot of uh, my, some of my senior ministers often tell me, what are you looking at your phone like a teenager? And I might not be actually looking at some serious information, but I always take the look up, uh, put my head up, and say, I'm information service minister. So. <laughs> So that gives me a leverage to do anything personal as well. <laughs> to look into my phone and, and say I'm the information broadcasting minister. I have the liberty of looking at my phone all the time. But I think uh, <clears throat> social media is here to stay and it's going to grow. To the effect that the power of uh, Twitter, Facebook is so much now that the news broadcasters who actually were leading um, the whole information campaign, if I were to say, now are following social media. The truth which is there in social media is so strong, or the factual information which is there in social media is so strong, that perforce the print and the television channels have to follow it. And that's the pressure which happens in the boardrooms in, in the morning 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock meeting that these channels have as to what is it that they're going to run in the evening. That is so much dictated by social media now. And in fact, in one of the interactions, I mentioned that uh, these are the days when government or anyone cannot actually hide information. You have to put the information out. <clears throat> in fact, one of the terms that we used was either you share or you die. So if you don't share, it's literally going to be death because there is going, there is going to be information in social media. It may not be true information, it may not be factual information, and therefore you have to put an effort to put the correct information outside. So Twitter is hungry for information. And whether it's, it's false or it's correct, it is hungry for information. The people are going to feed information into it. And so the right thing to do for all government, institutions, agencies is to put out a factual report there, and you cannot hide it any longer. Also, I realize that uh, the government is adapting to the social environment. We've been repeatedly having, laying emphasis on the social media. We've been having workshops for social media. And that's typically true because uh, government typically is not used to social media. So we've been having, bringing together the joint secretaries or officers of the lower levels and <clears throat> asking them to realize how important the social media is and how we can, how friendly the social media is 
and how we should all adapt to the social media. We've been holding workshops for photographs because photos speak uh, much louder than words and you can click a nice picture and put it on the uh, social media. We've been having, uh, we've, we've invited people from Twitter, we've invited people from Facebook to come and interact with the officers and to make them realize that it is friendly, you just need to adapt to it. Uh, gradually, we do realize that the number of ministries on social media is increasing. Number of ministries on the Facebook is increasing. Nitin is here. He'll probably have the actual factual account of how many ministries are there, but they're gradually on the increase. It's, a, um, it's important to, for the ministries, like I said, to put out the right information. And the, one of the best ways to connect is on uh, people who are mobile, constantly moving, is to put it on their social media. A large number of people now are reading news on the move. So the newspapers, especially the English newspapers, are having a tough time actually. And tomorrow's world is going to be lesser English newspapers. For some time, the Hindi newspapers are still going to grow. But the consumption of information is going to be on the mobiles. And that's why it needs to be uh, uh, correct information, of course, but it also has to be speedy information. Now, that particular aspect is a little, uh, um, it's, it's, it's a territory which is not so common or unknown, especially to the government, because government doesn't, uh, is not in a habit of putting out speedy information. So that's the area that government needs to, to work on. To be, act, to be active, to be quick, to respond back quickly, and to go out the information. And so to that extent, uh, INB uh, is doing a good job. And I'm, I'm really happy now, because if you see my Twitter account, you'll see me responding at about 1 o'clock in the night. So that's the only time I get. I, I read that time, and that's the worst time. My wife's giving me all dirty looks, and <laughs> I'm reading, and uh, it's uh, trying to respond. And so I'm happy that uh, the uh, communications wing, the new media wing that we've handed over to Mr. Narayanan is in safe hands because the wife is also actively on, on Twitter. So, so to that extent, I'm very happy. But uh, I'm glad that you're having this, uh, you have certainly had, having this book release, but I'm also glad that you're having a, a panel discussion after that. We have Mr. Madhavan, who's very active. And uh, you know, one of the interesting things uh, with uh, Twitter especially is that you uh, have very limited words to use, very limited number of characters to use. So the more interesting you make it, the more viral it will become. The more people will spread it. And to that extent, you have to have the gift of the gap. And I think that Mr. Madhavan has it pretty well. This will be, you'll be listening to in the panel discussion. And um, so congratulations once again to all of you to, to come here together today and to uh, put together this book to both of you. And wish you all the best. Thank you.